Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos. Today we're gonna to take a look at how to color code your video footage and your audio files in Final Cut Pro X. Now, why in the world would you need to color code your all your different media? Well, personally, I've had to do it when I'm working with very complicated projects such as weddings. Uh, with weddings, sometimes we're running three or four cameras and also we're getting back uh, three or four different audio sources from the DJ, uh, the officiant, the, the groom, and sometimes there's a separate recorder on the podium. So that can get really complicated when you're having to chop up all the footage and the video uh, and the audio and you're dealing with sound effects and music and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so it's good to keep organized. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to jump over to a computer and I'm going to show you how that works. All right, guys. So we're looking at a recent project, uh, actually a YouTube video I worked on. I explained how I work with clients and this is what it looks like you got music down here and then this are video clips you can't really tell because uh the view i have set right now is just to look at the wave audio forms that's how i like to keep it but if i set the view to this you can see this is our video clips uh, but you can see everything looks all the colors are pretty much the same um now i would say that, that this is not a super complicated project this is pretty simple but when you get to weddings you might have uh, four different camera angles and I'll show you that what that looks like in a little bit just so you understand how complicated it can get. But let's say, just start simple. Let's start, let's say I wanted to color code this music because all these three files are music. I can select all of them just like this and select uh, right click, assign audio roles and we're gonna say this is music. Boom, that's that, that simple. Now I can tell that's music because it's green. Uh, the same thing is not as simple for video clips. Like let's say I was to take this one right here, this video clip, I right click, select assign video role, right? Because it's a video clip. And um, let's say I'm gonna change it to, well, I can change it to titles, but look, it didn't do anything, right? I right click again, assign video role, titles, and it didn't turn purple. Why is that? Well, that was where I was having trouble. Let's say I select edit roles and I can add a new role by selecting video role. And I don't like this orange, but uh, let's just name it main clip or something like that. And this orange, I'm gonna change the color to like a red and say apply. All right, let's right click again, assign video role, main clip. Boom, it didn't change the color. Why is that? I don't know. So there's a work around that and uh, this is just what I figured out. So what you have to do is right click again on this video and instead of going to assign video roles, you go to assign audio roles, right? And this time we're gonna, well, let's, let's call it, let's just for the fun, call it music and you can see it change it to green because we're saying it's music. But uh, let's say we create a new role. So just, so we have a different color. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of this one and select audio roll. We're gonna add a new one and call it uh, main clip. We can name it whatever you want, really. And I don't like this orange, so I'm gonna change the color to red. Select apply. Uh, uh, the, 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 the. Yes, continue. Because I, I, it asked me if I wanted to delete the old main clip. Um, and I said yes. And then assign audio roles and we're gonna say select main clip now you see it's color coded this dark orange or blood red I don't know what that color is uh, so yeah that's simple right and you can also do it with the adjustment layer let's say this is one adjustment layer because I color graded all this video footage down here and this is a different adjustment layer maybe because my camera settings were different so I just did something different uh, anyways I can select this adjustment layer and this adjustment layer and this one and this one by holding down command, I uh, right click and I say, uh, actually for this one, I can say it's uh, a video roll. I don't know why, it's just the way it works out. It's kind of weird. And, and we can select adjustments. And we're gonna change the color because I don't like this color. Sometimes it gives me a hard time. Uh, let's select, uh, I don't know, what what what's a good color? No. It's too similar to the other purple. Let's select that green, select apply, and it didn't change it just yet. You gotta go in again, assign video roles, and select adjustments. So you can do the same thing with your other stuff, like uh, your B-roll footage. I, if I wanted 
I could select like let's say this video clips right here and I'm gonna assign audio roles because these are actual video clips and remember with video clips you got to go into audio roles so it's getting a little complicated I know it's just it's just the way it is so edit roles and we're gonna add another audio role we're gonna call it B roll and we're gonna change the color again because it's not a, not a good color uh, let's select this kind of no let's select uh, I don't know it's a good color this is red darker red apply didn't actually do it just yet assign audio roles and select B roll boom and it's now this uh, dark red yeah that's like I don't know what that color is burgundy I'm not sure but you see now it makes it easier to understand what you're working with this is adjustment layer uh, this is uh, this is b-roll footage I actually if this if all of this was a vi um, what do you call it uh, b-roll footage I can select all of it everything that's on this track or whatever you want to call it on, on this section and and assign a video roll to actually I can't do all of it because some of it you would have to apply it as if it was uh, actually audio rolls b-roll you see now some of it like this custom this is just a custom uh, generator you can't do it you got to sign it as a as a video actually so you see that the rule of thumb is that if the clip or the footage has audio in it then you have to assign it as an audio role if it doesn't you can assign it, assign it as a video role. Before we leave, I just wanna show you what a wedding would look like so you understand how complicated it can get. So let me switch over to that. All right, so I quickly wanted to show you what uh, a Catholic wedding looks like. This is an hour long and you got one, two, three, four different cameras and four audio sources. So you see, it can get really complicated because I might be switching to the priest and then to the groom so it's good to start out by color coding all this stuff, right? So if I, uh, before I start cutting up the footage, I can select this, audio, let's say this is efficient. I can select the audio rolls, right? Say this is the audio roll and let's call it efficient and select a different color again, cause I don't like that one. Select red, apply. Oh, then didn't assign it. You got to do it again, assign audio roles, boom. And so you would start doing that for every camera angle, just so you know where everything's at, right? And I don't know, I think it's just it's just a better practice to do this if you're working with a lot of stuff, as you can see here, just four different audios, four, uh, four different camera angles. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, hopefully this helps you out in your next project. Uh, I wasn't going to make this video because I thought, well, this is simple enough. People might already know about this, but this is something I was uh, having trouble with. I didn't know how to do it. Uh, so I know if I struggle with it, there's probably some people out there who also struggle with it. Uh, so guys, if you want to see more Final Cut Pro X tutorials, please let me know down in the comment section. Also, give it a thumbs up. It tells me to make more of this kind of stuff. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.